I'd like to welcome everybody to the Good Horse Gone Bad video. My name's Ed Crothers. Been training horses for 30 years, and I specialize in unruly horses, and done that for several years. And when I first started working on horses that nobody would climb on, I would also walk into a round pen and work very hard on getting this animal to understand that I'm the boss, this is my house, and try to use body language to get this animal to be a good horse. And once I started doing this a whole lot, I started realizing that this animal that's bucking six feet in the air only has to buck three feet. This horse that's flipping over backwards doesn't have to go to that extremes to get me to understand that he's trying to be a bad horse. So the body language that these horses were telling me after I got really working on was I'm hurting. So today we've got three horses that we are doing a video on, on horses that either disrespect or disrespect with pain. <clears throat> and also in this video, I want to be able to show you that none of these horses were ever, was worked very hard. We never wore these horses down to do what I ask. We took these horses that had problems and we tried to show you the pain issues. If you take the pain away, the horse will let you know what he's been taught. I mean, the biggest thing of it is, it's a whole lot easier to be good than bad. And the reason for that is, when a horse gets bad, we spend a lot more time on the ground, we spend two hours, we try to wear this horse down to get him to be safer or tired to be able to let us go on a trail ride. And the biggest thing of it is, what happens is, it don't usually work because pain always wins. So hopefully with this video, you'll be able to see and maybe catch some of these pain issues in the beginning before they become five pain problems. Now, a lot of times when a horse's right leg's hurting, um, if you keep riding, pushing through it, his left hind leg's hurting, then his neck's hurting. So that we ride these horses until they get to the point that they're flipping, doing a whole lot of bad things that hopefully this video might be able to get people to pay attention enough to stop it before we get to the horse in several pain problems. Also, you're gonna see a veterinarian, a blacksmith, also a chiropractor is going to break down procedures that usually would take five minutes and take you step by step through the horses and their problems and even problems they don't have that could help you when you have other horses or buy horses in the future. Okay, also I want to talk a little bit about safety. I am a definitely a person that safety is very important. Uh, most of the time in a round pen, I wear a helmet. Uh, if you see me at clinics, if I'm in a round pen, I'm going to talk briefly about helmets. Everybody should wear helmets. And doing this um, with horses, good horses,